Today we're going to be blowing up a balloon using a chemical reaction. We're going to be performing the chemical reaction between baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate, and vinegar, also known as acetic acid. Make sure you have already completed your pre-lab questions before watching this video and answering the post-lab questions. Let's get started. Up first, we are going to put an Erlenmeyer flask on our balance. The mass goes up, but since we're not interested in the mass of the balance, we are going to press our zero button to get it to read zero, even though the Erlenmeyer flask is still on it. Next, I wanna get as close to 50 grams of vinegar as I can. So I have my beaker full of vinegar, and I'm going to pour it in. Stopping occasionally. And I'm trying to get 50 grams of vinegar in there. Now I might not be able to get exactly 50 grams, so we're just gonna get as close as we can. And that looks it. So write down that mass, 50.27 grams, as your mass of your vinegar. Then we're gonna remove our vinegar, set it to the side, not throwing it away. We're gonna press that zero button again. Then we are going to put a weigh boat on. And then we are going to press that zero button yet again so that it reads zero even though the weigh boat is still on there. Then I'm going to take my baking soda and I'm going to add baking soda to the weigh boat until it weighs approximately five grams. Once again, we are adding in small amounts to make sure we don't go over. I think that's about as close as I'm gonna get. So we are gonna write down 4.99 as the amount of baking soda we are starting with. The last thing we need to do before we get started so we're gonna take our, put our baking soda to the side. Then we are going to hit our zero button, get it back to zero. We're going to put our weigh boat and one balloon into the weigh boat. And we are going to record that mass on our lab sheet. So now we're ready to get started. We are going to take our balloon and we are going to take our um, Erlenmeyer flask and we are going to take our weigh boat full of vinegar, or, or through full of baking soda, and we are going to funnel the baking soda into the balloon. So I have funneled all of my baking soda into the mouth of the balloon and I can set my balloon and now my empty boat, baking soda weigh boat aside. And now I have my balloon with all the baking soda in the bottom. Next, I'm going to stretch the mouth of my balloon over my um, Erlenmeyer flask so that it completely covers it while keeping the balloon on the downside. So I've stretched the balloon over the um, Erlenmeyer flask and all the baking soda is still down here. The vinegar is in my Erlenmeyer flask and I'm ready for my chemical reaction to start. The most important thing is to keep a tight grip on the balloon when this happens so that it does not fall off your Erlenmeyer flask. All right, so we want to Dump our baking soda, keeping a hold while our carbon, our reaction is occurring. You can see our balanced chemical equation. It is allowing air to go from our, the carbon dioxide from our reaction to go from our flask into our growing balloon. Now we wanna keep going until all the bubbling has stopped Give it a few swirls to make sure everything has reacted. We don't want any 
of anything from our reaction to remain. Notice how I'm keeping a hold on the balloon the whole time. All right, now that my reaction has stopped, I'm going to carefully pull my balloon off the Erlenmeyer flask and tie it off. So I've tied off my balloon full of the carbon dioxide that my reaction put, and I'm going to go put it back on that weigh boat from before. And I'm going to record that as my mass of the weigh boat plus balloon plus carbon dioxide. Now the last step is to subtract the mass of that we just got from the with the mass of the weigh boat and balloon in order to figure out the mass of our carbon dioxide. Once you have the mass of your carbon dioxide calculated, you are ready to answer your post lab questions and move forward.